you guys just want to apologize for these flyaway bits i tried hairspraying them down but they're just not going anywhere so i feel like they're just gonna have to stay for this video i'm really really sorry but in today's video i have another requested video this video was requested on instagram i put up a little box seeing what videos you guys would like to see and a lot of you actually requested a gift guide slash wish list i will be popping up pictures of these items if i don't have them here on the screen just so you can get an idea of what they look like the presents that i have on here vary in different prices i think it's very important to include all price ranges because obviously budgets with people and especially with what's going on in the world right now asking for higher priced pieces might not be what some people are comfortable with so i have included a various different price range for everyone if you like this video if you like this idea if you like this setup please give this video a like don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos like this um but yeah let's just get going the first thing that i have on is i think one you would never buy yourself but you would love as a gift and that is charlotte tilbury skincare i personally would never buy it for myself um unless there is a discount on and a severe discount charlotte tilbury skincare is absolutely unbelievable i think everyone knows this by now molly may uses it and if you've seen her skin like you just know charlotte tilbury do do gift sets around christmas and so they are at a very very discounted price i do recommend to buy during black friday and this is why this video is going to go up before black friday because if you want any of these things i honestly recommend asking someone to get them on black friday a load of their products like their magic cream their night cream their eye cream their face masks they are pricey, but on a discount, they're actually quite reasonable for what they are. Yeah, I think Charlotte Tilbury skincare would be an amazing thing to put on your wish list or to get someone very close to you. The next thing that I have put on this list is some tanning sets. Tan is so expensive. Having it all in one gift set instead of buying everything individually, which it does add up at the end of the day. And they're always reduced because they're in a gift set. I think they are great. I know Be Bold has one out. Christina sent a Instagram post to me. Bondi Sands always come out with one. Vida Liberata. I got that last year and honestly, best tan ever, but I wouldn't buy it for myself because it is so expensive. Um, who else? I'm pretty sure So Su does one. Her tan is great. I know a lot of the girls that I work with love her tan. Um, but yeah, tan and gift sets. You won't buy it for yourself get someone else to another brand that i feel like a lot of people would not buy for themselves but would love and personally i might add this to my wish list is an olaplex gift set they have come out with a gift set of four of their most popular shampoo conditioner and treatments and leave-in conditioner i think it's like 60 euro but a bottle on their own is already like 30 quid and it has a little bow on top i don't know if anyone has seen it but personally I'd keep the packaging. I'd have it literally just on my shelf for the packaging. But Olaplex is an amazing, amazing, amazing hair care brand. And I think a lot of people forget about it until it's halfway through the year, especially summer. And if you've got bleach blonde hair, I know a lot of the girls that I work with complain about how dry their hair is. Olaplex apparently is the biggest saviour. Even if you don't dye your hair, I really, really, really recommend getting Olaplex. And at this gift set and at the price that it's at, again, Black Friday's coming up, so they will have a sale on. There are two sets of products that I recommend you asking for or you giving to someone who is really, really into makeup. The first, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have mine this shade Stromboli. It is my tan shade. It is the glowiest foundation. It has the best coverage. It is the most long wearing foundation I've ever worn. So if you've been looking to treat yourself for this, pop it on your wish list. You need this foundation in your life. Honestly, it is the best foundation I've ever worn. You need this in your life. MAC lipsticks. Everyone and their mother probably has one in their collection. And if you don't, I really, really recommend them. They are, I wanna say 17 euro or are they 27? No, I'm pretty sure they're 17 euro. These lipsticks are the best lipsticks. To be honest, these are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I highly, highly recommend. This is what the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick looks like. It has the logo on the top. And then these are the MAC lipsticks. These lipsticks are the best lipsticks in the world. I don't care what anyone else says. 
even though MAC is kind of go not going out of fashion, but people aren't turning towards them as much as they used to, their lipsticks still never fail. Honestly, they're the best. I have mine in the shades Honey Love, Russian Red and Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is the one that Kylie Jenner used that blew up the internet. As you can see, mine are very well loved. So this is Honey Love, this is Russian Red and this is Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is more pinky than Honey Love. I don't know if you can see there. And then Russian Red is an obvious red. I get the most use out of Honey Love. The Charlotte Tilbury ones are a little bit more expensive. I think they are they 27 32 charlotte tilbury are very very expensive but they are so worth it i got mine in the shade pillow top which is the one that they always sell out of this is very similar to velvet teddy i prefer the charlotte tilbury formula but mac just kill it with the shades of their lipsticks I will leave a look fantastic discount code from um, another YouTuber that you can use all year round. I'll probably pop in like Rebecca Cables. Hers is the one I use the most just because I support her. Um, but yeah, look fantastic. Actually, do twenty percent discount codes all year round. So next on my list, I have a Bobby Brown gizzet. Bobby Brown, just like Charlotte Tilbury, very high end, but again, something you wouldn't buy but something you might ask for as a gift or give to someone else. Um, I actually have one coming for someone. Can't say who, and I wish I had it here to show you, but they are doing their Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which has blown up through the years. Um, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base is a world renowned in makeup artistry, in catwalks, fashion shoots. Everyone uses this. They have a deal on at the moment, a gift set, where you get their face base and their eye cream for something like 69 euro, which on its own, I'm pretty sure it's already in like the 50s or 60s. You can buy them individually, but while they're in a gift set and they're much cheaper together, you might as well get it. I honestly think this is such an amazing gift. I think if you want to try it, pop it on your wish list, or if you want to gift it to someone, honestly, Again, you're getting 20% off it with the discount code if you go on Look Fantastic. Look Fantastic honestly hold probably 99% of brands. Have a look at Look Fantastic's Christmas gift set range. They have so many. I think they have like over like 600 gift sets. It's absolutely crazy. But again, Black Friday's coming up and you will get everything for cheaper. Wait till back Black Friday. Don't buy before. There's no point, especially if you know brands like Look Fantastic are going to have amazing discounts on just wait. Next I have two brands that just kill it with eyeshadow palettes and I think are definitely worth the money and they're really affordable and I've actually used them to create this eye look today which is coming on Friday at 6pm just to let you know it's this green eyeshadow look is really requested on my Instagram. Morphe and Be Perfect they hold the most amazing palettes and the quality of them and the price that you get them for are just insane so the two palettes that i recommend getting from each brand is the morphe x jackson hill palette you know at this point this palette is my entire life it looks like this it has every single shade you will ever need it has browns it has oranges it has pinks it has reds it has purples it has greens it has blues it is absolutely everything in this palette and then the second palette that also if you're only to ever own one palette this would also have everything in it this is the be perfect carnival xl pro palette by stacy marie this is what it looks like this palette let me show you it also comes with highlighters so you're getting everything in one and again, like I said, you have three different highlighters for three different skin tones, which is insane. So another thing I think you should add to your wish list or you could give to someone is lashes. If you're looking to splurge a bit or tatty lashes, they make amazing lashes. And it's actually, if you buy 15 pairs of lashes, you get them for like, I want to say it's like 60 euro. I really recommend in taking advantage of their MUA Pro discount, which they give to everyone, by the way. I just want to point that out. They do give to everyone. If you're not a makeup artist, they still give it to you. It just automatically applies at checkout. Doll Beauty Lashes are also an amazing lash brand. I have tried out, I think, three pairs at this point, and they're probably my favorite lash brand. They are such good quality. They're so fluffy. They look as natural as a fake lash can look. 
um, they look like extensions to me so they're another lash brand that I love and, and then last but not least on beauty subscriptions look fantastic glossy box and bridge box are some brand that do subscriptions so it's a monthly subscription i know a lot of them you can get a one month subscription a three month a six month and a 12 month and you decide on which one you want you can play monthly you can pay all in one go it's completely up to you i had a 12 month glossy box one it's actually just finished and i think i'm going to try out the look fantastic one next because i've heard really really good things about them but you're able to cancel your plan at any time and renew it whenever you want not a lot of people think to buy themselves a subscription box especially a beauty one and i think they're just such great gifts especially when we're all stuck at home and you get a new box full of goodies that you don't know what's coming every single month you get to try out new brands new products maybe there's even stuff in there for like self-care something that you needed i know glossy box they love to pop in a bit of makeup a bit of skincare a bit of self-care which i think is amazing there's also different subscription brands that do candles um there's what else there's so many subscription brands um beauty ones you can also now get food ones you can get wine ones you can get so many but i think they're a great gift i think they're a great thing to ask for more so a great gift to give people um because someone's not gonna buy from themselves and they probably won't even think to add it to their wish list either okay perfumes perfumes i feel like no one buys themselves no one will buy themselves their expensive perfume it is not on something that is on your monthly paycheck wish list so i definitely think putting your favorite perfume on your wish list is the best idea two that I really love are one Zara perfumes. Zara perfumes are very, very underrated. They are more of a perfume that you spray on throughout the day in work or um, after the gym, before the gym, whatever, because they're such a good price. I think they're literally like 12 euro for a bottle. They smell amazing. They actually do last a good bit of time and you don't mind if you're absolutely like spraying yourself 20 different times because you know, you're gonna be able to go back go back out and get one at such a good price. So I think Zara perfumes are definitely a great one, especially if you don't wanna waste your good perfumes in work, like me. Another perfume that I love is my absolute favorite, and I feel like absolutely everyone loves this, is Black Opium by YSL. I prefer the Floral Shock one just because it's a little bit sweeter than Black Opium. No matter what one you get, whether it's the normal one, Floral Shock one, they also do another one now that's like in an orange bottle. Another thing as well, a lot, a lot, a lot of perfume brands are bringing out miniature sizes of all of their perfumes and putting it into one gift set. So you can buy, say, um, a YSL perfume gift, gift set. You get all of their different perfumes, just in really small minis. And there's like five in there. And I think that is such a good present because if you don't know what's to get someone and you don't know what perfume they like, you don't know if they like floral, if they like sweet, if they like woody. Woody. I think it is an absolutely amazing gift to get. You have four or five different perfumes, all in minis. You're not wasting money or perfume if they don't like them because they're only in small bottles, but they give them a chance to find out one that they love from that brand. And maybe they can ask next year for you to get them the bigger size or they can buy it themselves. I think they're great gifts. Another one, if you really, 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 really want to splurge on someone is Jo Malone. Jo Malone perfumes are the most expensive things I've ever seen in my entire life but they smell amazing no matter what scent you get. All Jo Malone scents are amazing. Or Jo Malone candles. I know a lot of people say they decorate them, <laughs> they use them as decoration and don't actually light them but they're amazing and their candles are the scents of their perfumes and colognes. So if someone loves a perfume, get them the candle to match. So the next thing that I feel like everyone asks for or someone gets you because coming up to the new year, new year, new you, gym clothes. But if you're like me and you go to the gym quite regularly when we're allowed to go to gym, when we're allowed to go to gym, we go every day. When we're not allowed to go to the gym, you don't work out. Unless you're my boyfriend who is just an absolute beast. Gym clothes are so expensive so expensive. Gymshark is 50 euro for a pair of leggings. 
50 euro and currently right now Gymshark actually have a sale on up to 50% off which for Gymshark is insane and they rarely rarely do this I think they actually only do this on Black Friday and say in January sales and if you want your Gymshark leggings get them while they're cheap get them now they do sell out really really quickly but because they're discounts on for so long I'm assuming they're going to be restocking sizes I think getting gym gear or giving someone gym gear once you like know their size and you're okay with that I think is an amazing present because it is so expensive and I have asked for gym gear myself for Christmas because 50 euro on Gymshark leggings I just I can't bring myself to spend that even though I get student discount I'm still like nah also if you are a student you get your student discount on top of the Gymshark discount just to let you know next I have on my wish list or for you to give someone shoes now whether this is their trainers for the gym random trainers that you know they're gonna love slippers Ugg slippers are very in at the moment everyone wants a pair of Ugg slippers they do two different types I'm pretty sure they do ones that are like backless and you just slide your feet into them and then they also do ones where you pull like a strap up the back of your heel which I love Ugg slippers are expensive you probably would never buy them for yourself but I really, really think they are a great gift. I know so many people that have asked for them. I think there's something you're gonna have forever. You're never gonna buy need to buy another pair of slippers if you purchase or ask for Ugg slippers. The next thing is homeware. I think homeware is something that people really want to ask for, but kind of forget around Christmas time. So the first thing that I have on this is candles and diffusers. Candles and diffusers are honestly the best gift you can ever have. The White Company do amazing candles. They have a scent called Winter and if you have smelled this, they come in so many different sizes. They come in ones in like glasses like this. They come ones that are just the candle itself and it's got um, decorations. Again, I'll pop up pictures, but the White Company do the best diffusers, do the best scents, do the best candles. And honestly, you can't really go wrong same with Yankee Candle, I think they have the most amount of scents I've ever seen. Same with Bath and Body Works, but if you're not from America or Australia, unfortunately we can't get them. Well, you can, you can get them posted through a dress pile from On Post here in Ireland, but it's 15 euro per kg. And then the last thing I have put down for home is designer slash luxury coffee table books. If you don't know what I'm on about, I feel like everyone has these at the moment and I'm probably gonna purchase them myself. But these are Dior, Louis Vuitton, Prada, um, Versace, all these different brands have got these luxury coffee table books. They're their fashion books that are 40 euro. They look insane on display so i feel like it's a great gift idea it is a great thing to ask for again if you're doing up your room they look absolutely insane especially with like a candle on top on your coffee table so we're on our last section on my thing and this is self care there's so many different self-care ways for women so i've just popped in a few things that i think you could give to a woman again pop it into a hamper and i think it is just the most amazing gift so the first thing i have on it is a book a lot of people nowadays don't read and i think it is something that we all need to get back into especially during lockdown being on your phone on instagram and on tiktok it can be a very very um toxic place and i mean that in a way because you see all of these girls you see all these lads they're living this lavish lifestyle and of course they're only putting out the best because why would you put out the worst but you're sitting there and you're thinking what am i doing like why don't i look like that why don't i like have that lifestyle and to be honest i don't think we'd want that lifestyle because the amount of hate that they get i feel so bad for them um and they're always under criticism but to get you out of that, one of the first thing I do is delete TikTok and Instagram. I have TikTok deleted and I download it now and again to like like my friends post, but then as soon as that's done, it gets deleted. Also recommend deleting Instagram. I've done that a numerous couple of times for a couple of weeks because I think it is a very, 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 very toxic place. But anyways, so I recommend picking up a book and getting off your phone. And the book that I really recommend because while you're reading it and while you're getting rid of TikTok and Instagram, you are also 
putting good endorphins through your body you are also putting good thoughts and feelings while reading this and the book is the secret so if you've never heard of the secret i'm pretty sure everyone has heard of the secret the secret is a book it's about manifesting the life you want and honestly if you haven't started manifesting start it if you haven't started your gratitude started the secret is also on netflix if you want to watch it i highly highly recommend it but honestly read the book i feel like you get more from the book because you take it's what you take from this well when you're watching the movie they kind of give you what they want you to envision but when you read it you're getting it out of your own brain and what you think of it manifesting is honestly something it's 20 euro in essence manifesting is honestly something you need to start in your life it's a positive thing and asking for the secret for Christmas will get you started, especially with the new year coming up. I think it is the best gift you can give yourself. Even if you don't put it on your wish list, get it yourself because it will change your life. I promise you that. Going along with the theme of manifesting and gratitude, there is a planner on Amazon called the Law of Attraction Planner. This planner, I'm planning on getting myself, it includes everything you need to manifest your life day by day, to apply your gratitudes to your life, to help you organize your life into a positive lifestyle. And I just think it's absolutely insane and I cannot wait to get my hands on one. And if you wanna manifest, you need to do this every single day. You need to fill yourself with good endorphins and surround yourself with good people and good things and eat good foods and look after yourself and envision the life that you want to envision and this journal will honestly help you do that to go along with that this is the last manifesting type thing i'm going to talk about coloring now i've gotten some slack <laughs> for posting this on my instagram and on my snapchat but coloring has honestly changed my life especially going in and out of lockdowns it is the only thing that keeps me busy and keeps me off my phone what i do is i slap on a youtube video or a netflix show and i just color in at home i do this every single night and everyone can vouch for that i literally do this every single night and i've gotten some people onto coloring as well i will show you the ones that i have now so these you can get off amazon um these are the colors that i have they're 72 double ended fiber tips i think this pack was about 20 euro but they're double ended so 72 multiplied by 2 is 144 so you're getting 144 markers okay so i do actually have the one that i have completed and this is the one i recommend every single person to get honestly if there's one thing you ask for for this christmas it is a coloring book and colors so you have all your pictures to color in they're all mandalas but this is what i love most about it so on one that you color on this page here, it has a quote and they're all positive, feel good, mantras, quotes, um, just positive, positive things to start your day. So this one says, whoever is happy will make others happy too. And then on the picture of color, there's also another quote. So on this one, it says, cultivate the habit of being grateful. See? Gratitudes, gratefulness, you need to do them in your life. So they just give really, really positive um, mindfulness quotes while you're coloring to make yourself feel good. So I really recommend this one. And then the one that I'm currently using is actually a Christmas coloring one. I completed that one and I even needed a new one. So I picked up a Christmas one. Um, you can pick them up literally Tesco's, Easton's, as you can see, I'm like slowly getting through it. but. I really recommend coloring books. I think they're a great way to wind down at the end of the day. Take your mind off things because you have to really concentrate on what you're doing, especially when these are so detailed that you end up forgetting about the world, forgetting about life. I know. So then just a little bit of fun things to throw in for self-care. Face masks. Garnier are the best for face masks. You can get them in Tesco's and at the moment they are doing little gift sets of Garnier face masks of eye masks of hair masks i'll pop some up i think you can get them on look fantastic actually and i just think they're great little gifts so another few brands that i love of face masks i actually use the yes to white charcoal one if you have dry skin this is unreal and the beauty bay skin clay fixer mask 
best thing to clear your skin pop them into a little self-care hamper or if you're doing like a self-care bag for someone i think they're great for if you're doing secret santas and you have a budget they're just amazing because you can make them a little self-care hamper with throwing pjs throw in slippers throw in face masks throw in a coloring book they're just they're great next i have lush gift sets it would not be a gift guide if you didn't include the Christmas Lush gift sets that they bring out every single year. You can get two bath bombs in a set, amazing packaging for £10. You can get three bath bombs for like 12 or 15 pounds and then they keep going up with how many's in them and then they start being added like shower gels shampoos soaps and stuff like that and then their biggest one i think is like 100 euro and it has their whole christmas range so a few little bits that you could add in just as like random little gifts are vouchers asos vouchers zara vouchers even tattoo vouchers are an amazing gift to give someone if you don't know what to give them i think if you get them a voucher for their favorite brand that means they can go spend it on something that they love or that they wanted and you don't have to worry about getting them like something that you don't know if they'll love at this time i say if you're going to get a gift card or a voucher for someone uh make sure that you can use them online just when if you go in and out of lockdown they might run out quite quickly but i think vouchers tattoo vouchers i'm pretty sure never go out of date but just check with your local tattoo parlor but say like asos and zara i'm pretty sure they go out after a year that is the last that i have for my gift guide i hope this has helped someone i hope this has helped someone add to their wish list or i hope it helps someone to give a gift to someone else this christmas two really important things are the first one is no matter what you get someone it is the thought that counts if you can't afford to spend 10 euro 20 euro 50 euro 100 euro a thousand euro on someone that does not matter i don't know for anyone else but for myself it's the thought that counts and, it, and i'm not just saying that but i actually mean this if you cannot afford to get someone something do not feel pressure to get them it if you even a handmade card with saying all the things you love about them a letter something you've made it is worth absolutely everything to someone than say like a louis vuitton bag or like that joe malone candle christmas to me and i'm pretty sure to most people is time to spend with your family and to take advantage of being able to see them especially this year take full advantage of being able to spend time with your family with your friends with your siblings with your partners just make sure you spend the quality time and honestly that will pay for a gift itself spending time with my family around christmas is something that means the absolute most to me and the gifts they get forgotten about like they honestly do gifts get forgotten about so easily but the time and the laugh and the moments that you have at Christmas are just the best. Like, I, our, my family, especially when it's later into the night, they just get absolutely chaotic. And honestly, it makes the best memories. And it's what you remember about Christmas the most. You don't remember all the gifts you've gotten, or maybe you do, but I know I remember the times that I spent with my family more. So yeah, I just want to say that this is just for ideas it's not stuff you have to get people it is not stuff that you feel like you need to get people this is just to help anyone out if they want to put something on their wish list or if they want to give some something to someone then the second thing that i also want to add is shop local please 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 try and shop local especially during times like this shopping local is very 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 important um i'm actually going to pop up some different people on the screen here who i'd really appreciate and i think they'd really appreciate if you check them out and checked out what they do the first one i think it'd be rude not to mention this person lisa nagel creations lisa nagel creations makes the best cards in the entire world lisa is my godmother so i'm obviously going to be extremely biased but also when you look at her work you can see um, the effort, the time. I actually got a sneak preview of Christmas cards coming up for next week. They are 
unbelievable like they are insane i'm gonna add in her name here and i will also leave a link in the description where you can order please check out her cards they're absolutely insane i'm ready to order mine i just need to wait to tell the new christmas cards come out so i can order them because they're definitely going on my list she also does personalization cards um uh that have snow falling out of them there's so much detail on them and they do take time and you can order them individually or in different packs it's up to you but lisa is the first one the second one i'm going to mention is Eva nolan she does the crystal bracelets there's different crystals that mean different things and they have different healing properties they have different um properties to them that are like calming um anxiety reducing stress reducing and um, having like more money and stuff like that and she does these bracelets and you can get the different crystals on them which you want the most and she's absolutely unbelievable she is honestly the nicest person i've ever met and i think her brand is something that would make an amazing gift for christmas especially if you're if you know someone who's into crystals, who's into manifestation, who's into all that kind of stuff, gratitude, everything like that, her business is honestly the best. You need to go check it out. I'll leave her link in the description. And the last one is kind of around fitness and this isn't a personal person to me, but she is an Irish brand. If you're looking to get into fitness, especially during lockdown, you will need a resistance band to grow that booty, to grow those legs. I highly recommend getting a resistance band but to support local kiki fit the label she has amazing 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 resistance bands and i think if you were to get a resistance band kiki she's from color um she makes so many different resistance bands and they always sell out so you need to be on her instagram page looking them out but she does amazing ones there's marble ones there's pink ones and I'm really sure she's bringing out more. So I really, really recommend checking her out. I've decided to get this out before Black Friday because Black Friday sales are on, which means everything's gonna be cheaper. Do not forget that. Don't pay price that you are going to pay until it comes out on Black Friday cheaper. And then if it doesn't come out on Black Friday cheaper, you know you're not gonna get it cheaper, so buy it then. But please wait till Black Friday. Don't spend any more money than you need to. Let me know if you like this setup, but if there's any videos you would like to see, please, please, please leave them in the comments below and i cannot wait to see you in the next video which will be coming friday at 6 pm it's this eye look and yeah other than that i hope you have a great evening and yeah see you very soon bye